Hi you guys, my name is Sharita. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Shane Dawson again. And I know you guys are probably tired of hearing about him, but things just need to be said. Things that <laughs> have been said before, but now that blinders are coming off, maybe you guys will really listen to what I have to say because this is getting ridiculous. Now, before I get started, make sure you click subscribe for new content whenever I post and also do not forget to click the notification bell so that you are notified every single time that I post a video. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, I told you so. You guys are probably gonna get tired of hearing that, but I told you, I've been telling you about this man and it was always passed off with, he's changed, he's apologized, that was in the past, that's how dark humor was. Y'all, when it comes to certain types of dark humor, when it comes to kids, it's no longer a joke. So I don't understand, well, I do, but I don't understand how he, how he was allowed to build his platform based off of his surface, like what he put out there. It started out with blackface, which you guys still will defend till the end. I mean, the man has done more blackface looks than he did with his own conspiracy palette. So the man, the man is versed in blackface. Then it became jokes, which it, yeah, fine, whatever. But, but not when you include children in those jokes. So when you're including kids in your jokes, it's no longer a joke and you have to take it serious. And then when it becomes a pattern, meaning it happens over and over and over again for multiple years, you really have to take it serious. Like you can't just pass it off as, oh, Shane's just a quirky white boy. He can get away with it. That's his humor. No, because it's not funny. There's nothing funny about it. I mean, I, the jokes about his cat, the the things that he's done on camera to dogs, like you guys, I, I don't understand how it lasted for so long when it was out there for years. And then now you guys feel betrayed because of the cash grab. And now you guys wanna bring all of this to the front, to the, you know, to the forefront. Y'all only care when it directly affects you. Like if you would have just listened when we, when we called him out about the blackface and the N word, he wouldn't have the platform that he has now. So I know D'Angelo Wallace is coming out with this video that will be showing Shane's blog. And now a lot of people right now are still defending him saying, oh, well, this is speculation. How do we know it's true? How do we know it's not Photoshopped? At this point, like if you don't believe it, it's because you don't want to believe it. So you can go to the Wayback Machine and find this blog. And, and basically what the blog is, is Shane would take a picture and then the, the comments, like you were allowed to leave pictures. So, I mean, in a sense, it kind of was like Twitter, but it was just like in blog form, I guess. While more times than not, the prompts were just ordinary, like, show me your favorite toy, show me your pet, show me a picture with your favorite family member, things like that. Now, more times than not, the, the prompts were like that. But then you moved on to things like, show me your creepy face, show me your face, show me your face. Show me your crotch. And Shane knows that the majority of his fan base were young, young kids, young boys and girls. And I went through one thread. Now pictures are not included, but I went through one thread and I was just baffled at what people were saying in regards to how old they were and how this was wrong. And if they knew it was wrong back then, and, and this was when Shane was maybe about 21 years old. 
So he was just getting started. If they knew it was wrong back then, why did they continue to give him this platform to where, yes, he doesn't do things this bad, but, but his views and morals probably haven't changed much since then. And, and like I said, probably for what a solid five years, that was his shtick. Why did it, why, why for so long? Why did it go on for so long? Like I said, it's because he's a quirky white boy. Let a black man try to get away with something like that. Let a black man try to get away with something like that. Usually when somebody is or a pet. And I know a lot of people will be like, well, he's never touched a kid inappropriately. So that doesn't make him a no. His thoughts still make him a It's just like saying, well, they've never said the N word, so they can't be racist. No, their thoughts and their actions can still prove that they're So Shane's thoughts and actions have proved that he uses his power to manipulate kids. And it's been going, it's been like that for years. But usually people who, who are problematic, usually that's just their, their character. That's who they are. And Shane always comes off as like this nice guy or whatever. But if you guys don't know, he did a movie some years back called Not Cool. He produced it, but he was so mean to everybody involved, everybody involved. And he didn't want to take any type of criticism. And it's just disturbing to hear him talk to people the way that he was. Uh, he would say something along the lines of, well, if you would have just let me know, I would have blah, blah, blah. And everybody was like, well, we tried to tell you. No, you didn't. Like, he's not a nice guy. This is who he is as a person. And I'll leave links to, to everything because to me, it's not mind blowing, but to others, it may be, and maybe y'all will still justify it talking about he apologized or whatever. But again, the only apology that we accept is changed behavior. Nothing has changed about this man. The last three docu-series that he did were on problematic white people. He aligns himself with people just like him. Nobody, none, none of the three people that he's done his docuseries on have been held accountable. He's essentially saved their careers, but <laughs> karma said, not today, not today. Hey y'all, future editing Sharita here. What I meant by this is right now, Tana and Jeffrey are both going through their own nonsense. And then the Paul brother, he's still just a mess. That's what I meant by karma. Oh, and during that movie, there was a producer, his name is Zachary Quinto, Quinto, Quinato, and he took everything, like, he removed himself from that movie because Shane was impossible to work with. And if that doesn't speak volumes, I, I don't know what does. I also remember, so Shane was on a, like, some late night show, I don't know, and he was talking about how, I guess the New York Times or somebody said, the only way that you can enjoy this movie is if you're a, 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 a like just named all these things. And looking back on it, it's probably like, uh, all the signs were there. And Shane even said in that interview, he goes, yeah, like the one joke it wasn't even that bad not that no. but y'all still allowed him to thrive on this platform what else has he done i mean i i can go on and on and on that now there's that that puppet show hey millie that he did with the fine brothers the fine brothers themselves are in hot water for something else but then you mix it with this puppet who they who was supposed to be like an eight-year-old girl. Why is any of this okay? It's not. 
And then there's the video footage going around of him kissing a 12 year old girl on the lips, his fan when he was like 23 years old. Y'all, you guys allowed this man to make millions of dollars off of and rape and bigotry and be we have to do better with the people that we idolize and i i don't even know why idolatry shouldn't even be a thing we shouldn't be out here idolizing these people these these people are regular human beings like me and you that's it and that's all and when somebody shows you who they are you have to believe them because then we end up with all these narcissists at the top. And then, I mean, you guys will go to bat. You guys will defend this man to the death. And this is a man that you'll probably never ever meet in your life, nor do they care about you. Like, it's mind boggling and, and it has to end now. And especially with the white people. And when black people tell you that somebody's racist, when multiple black people tell you that somebody's they probably are and i'm just gonna leave it at that so at this point i'm just waiting for d'angelo wallace's video to come out because i know he's going to provide all the receipts but until then stop defending this man stop stop with the what ifs and the it's all out there it is out there for everybody to see that that blog is beyond disturbing but i digress so i think that's going to be my video for today if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a big thumbs up that helps me out a lot also do not forget to link up with me on my social media remember you cannot support jeffree star and black lives matter at the same time and until my next video i'll see you guys later bye